Thinking about this wonderful day, I want to read a couple of words of the great judge from my court, Learned Hand. The time was World War II. The country was under great threat. The setting, Central Park, the year 1944, and the swearing in of new citizens. Judge Hand, the chief judge of the Second Circuit, spoke of the liberty, the spirit of liberty, which gave our immigrants the courage to break from the past and brave the dangers and loneliness of a strange land. Liberty that is understood as freedom from oppression, freedom from want, freedom to be ourselves. Judge Hand said, the spirit of liberty is the spirit which is not too sure that it is right. The spirit of liberty is a spirit which seeks to understand the minds of other men and women. The spirit of liberty is a spirit which weighs their interests alongside its own bias. The spirit of liberty remembers that not even a sparrow falls to earth unheeded. I have no doubt that the spirit of liberty will thrive with you as citizens. To become a citizen, you pass every test. And as polls show, you know more about our Constitution, about our government, than most native-born Americans. Because of your personal histories, you have a special feeling for the freedoms and liberties and rights in the Constitution and the need to preserve them. You will keep this country great. You will make it better as you assume the responsibilities of citizenship. Indeed, as my father often said to me, it is each of our responsibilities to keep this country great, to point out where things need to be improved, to ensure that our freedoms are vital for the generations to come. On April 6, 1923, a young woman born in Minsk, Russia, fleeing the repressive regime of the USSR, made the arduous journey through Poland and England, and then arrived on a boat, the Aquitania, came to this island, Ellis Island. She would later marry another Russian immigrant, who even before he was naturalized as a United States citizen in 1920, had fought for this country in the First World War. They worked hard, she in a pocketbook factory, he as a tailor, Together, they raised two children. They believed in this country so deeply. I knew them well. They were my grandparents. It means more to me than I can say that I stand here, in some sense, as their representative, as I am also, in some sense, a representative of my father, born in Germany, and his mother who came together in March of 1941. The American dream is about aspiration and, and achievement. I wish for all of you here, as I know my family of immigrants would wish for you, every success and happiness, that all your dreams for yourselves and your families will come true. I am grateful for the privilege of swearing you in as citizens, and I congratulate you. Judge Katzman. At this time, I would like to invite new U.S. citizen Joseph Talbot to come forward to lead us all in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would all members of the audience please stand? Please move your right hand over your heart, please. And recite after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I regret that I cannot be with you in person, but it is my pleasure and delight. 